Now, new research shows the number of employers implementing new diversity and inclusion drives has almost trebled since the end of the Black Lives Matter protest. So a poll from Opinion found that 27% of minority ethnic workers said their employers had introduced new initiatives during the last 12 months in response to improved diversity and inclusion in the workplace. Yes, well, in 2020, 73% of minority ethnic people said they had experienced discrimination in one poll. But this year is the first time that figure has dropped to 64%. Oh. So let's uh, pick this apart a little bit. Joining us now is Remy Adekoya, who's Associate Lecturer of Politics at the University of York and author of A Different Way on Race. Welcome to the programme, Remy. Thanks for joining us. Um, when people hear diversity and inclusion these days, it's almost... Uh, it's, it's become tainted, hasn't it? Because people think of all these schemes that sort of promote unconscious bias training and really quite meaningless, insubstantial programmes. Are there diversity and inclusion programmes that actually make substantive change? I do think there are. And it's important that in the poll, I think half of the ethnic minority respondents said uh, their companies or institutions they work for had taken some action to tackle racism. And so they definitely perceive positive things as going on there. 27%, as you said, talked about the fact that there have been you know, new diversity initiatives in that company. And very importantly, you cited uh, the statistic that said ethnic minorities report a reduced level of discrimination in their workplaces. So there are certainly things that are working. One thing which I think is um, very important and which a lot of people appreciate are mentoring schemes which are now becoming increasingly popular in corporations. So generally speaking, uh, the situation has been that the upper corporations uh, do tend to be underrepresented if we're speaking of ethnic minorities. And so a lot of the staff, a lot of the ethnic minority staff will tend to be in the junior positions or in the middle management positions, and they don't really feel they have contact with the senior staff in the organizations. And right now, a lot of organizations are introducing mentoring schemes, whereas some of the senior staff who do tend to be white uh, will mentor an ethnic minority staff, for instance. And that's really helpful, apart from giving people, you know, sort of, you know, hope that they can also um, reach those kinds of positions. They also learn practical skills from those people. So this is one scheme which I think is really appreciated among ethnic minority staff. Um, it says it, uh, here in, that in 2020, 73%, so three quarters roughly, of minority ethnic people said they had experienced discrimination. I, I'm assuming that might be in the workplace. I'm not sure. Um, if it is in the workplace, I'm not really sure I buy that figure, uh, which is, I suppose, controversial to say. But I, of course, know many ethnic minority people. And many of the ones I know, I think they, they feel there is an over-exaggeration or an over-sensitivity when it comes to what is perceived as discrimination. For, for example, somebody mispronouncing their name can be seen as discrimination when to many people that's not discrimination. So do you think that some of this stuff is overblown, shall we say it sometimes? So everything depends, obviously, on individual cases and people interpret things very differently. Generally speaking, there is a tendency for minorities, all sorts of minorities, not just racial minorities or ethnic minorities or, or religious minorities, for all minorities in societies to be sensitive to instances of perceived discrimination. OK, and this applies to religious minorities in the Middle East. And this applies to, like I said, all sorts of uh, minorities anywhere in the world. And it also, of course, applies to racial minorities living here in the UK. And so, of course, there is going to be that increased sensitivity to situations that can be interpreted as discriminatory. And so something which I may, for instance, not see as an instance of discrimination, because I may be assuming good intentions on the part of whoever is speaking to me, may be interpreted by someone else differently. So yeah. there's a lot at play here. There is that minority factor at play here. And there is also, you know, personal psychology at play here. And there are, of course, also personal experiences at play here. Because if you have... Okay. If you have, um, uh, you know, experienced racism in the past, then you are, of course, going to be more sensitive to it in the future. Absolutely. Now, I have regularly spoken on very similar topics to this with various different ethnic minorities, people from various different ethnic minority backgrounds, I should say. And there is a concern sometimes from some of those people that 
there can be a bit of tokenism involved when it comes to things like this, right? So you can end up in a situation where people will be thinking, well, hang on a minute, have they got that promotion on their own merit or is it part of some new scheme? And that's a really sad situation to be in, isn't it, really? And almost undermines the whole thing. How do you feel about that? Do you think, do you think there is an element of tokenism going on at the moment in some areas? Again, this, of course, varies, you know, company to company situations will be different in companies and in institutions. Everything depends on how those at the top are implementing these programs. And so if those at the top are simply looking for black or brown faces yeah. to put in somewhere so I can, you know, tick a box and say, oh, look, I've done something for diversity. Then, yeah. of course, we are going to have that kind of feeling in the institution and it's going to end up to be counterproductive at the end of the day. However, if those at the top are not implementing it just based on that tokenistic um, you know, sort of system or, or, or motivation. And people do see that, look, the, you know, people being promoted are being promoted on merit. And in every organization and in every institution, you will find lots of ethnic minority people who are there because they deserve to be there and who deserve to be promoted, who work hard every day. And so, you know, people see this. So I think, you know, people are not really fooled by these kinds of things. So, you know, people know their colleagues. They know how hard their colleagues work. They know which of their colleagues, you know, are more competent, which are less competent. And so if the process is implemented in the proper way, then, you know, everybody's going to see, look, this is fair and, 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 and things are working the way they should be. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, uh, Remy Adekoya, thank you so much for joining us. You were very clear and insightful there, uh, Associate Lecturer of Politics at the University of York and author of A Different Way on Race.